Okay, babe, this is really happening now. Mom's here for this big moment. Okay. And what's your name again? Anna. Anna. Hello. Is the one who's helping me facilitate this. So. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Show me what you got. Okay. Do it sideways, please. All right. Go ahead. All right. This. Like I think she just wants to see. She... Well, I'm sure she wants. That's to okay. I'm, I'm asking about him. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Here is key. They're married and they're sold together. Together. So for a size like this, what kind of price would you put on it? Have you thought about that? I'm doing this thing about equality and unity. And as an artist, you always have the right to set the bar where you want. All I'm asking for an artist is. Especially if you're starting out, you've mm -hmm. got to understand you've got, you build a following, you build to your pricing. Um, when, you, when you're established and you get a following where people are showing up to see your work, where they're like, oh, do you see some? Like, I have a bunch of Eric's paintings. Um, I love his pieces, they, they're bold, they speak. Um, So mm -hmm. look around, see the artists in here, get an idea of pricing. Remember, these are established artists. This is what they're getting. This area is not Nashville. It's not Franklin. No. We do our best here. Yes. There's only so much we can do. And most of the artists in here do very well. Mm -hmm. But you got to know your, your target. Mm -hmm. You've got to know your ability. And you've got to know that it takes time to build a following. Okay. You don't, you know, I didn't make this for close to 40 years. Mm -hmm. And the fusing that I do here, I've been doing for almost 25. So it takes a time. long time to get the following, get the start, to be able to command the better prices. I didn't start out. What about, <laughs> well then how about this? Because I like the number of trees so you much. Like the with my talent, I'm still willing to sell my work for $33 because hear me out, it's my score. What do you mean? All right. So my artist name is Shiva. The Hindu do name Shiva or? Yeah, that's well, me, when, that's who I am. When he's creative. That's. You did say you like channel as you're working, mm -hmm. right? Are you not like? But I'm being myself when I do stuff like that, yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, keep, keep telling me about the stuff you got. All right. And then we can talk about prices after. All right. Yeah. 
Because she's the expert. Doesn't this one this go is, with it? This is uh, Shiva and Kali's will for humanity to live with gods, folk lords, and supernatural. So there's different sigils of the yes, deities? Yes, I made my own language to uh, communicate this. I think this goes there. I want to see that one. This one. You have this people's one? safety with a subconscious level. That goes with that. You know? Oh, it goes to Jacqueline. Yes. These go together. This one right here is, there's this alien race called Dugaz. So have you ever seen a trash can before? No, I've never seen a trash can. Well, <laughs> that's Explain a it to me. Slapper, <laughs> it? That's a mean slapper, ain't it? Like, yeah, explain it to me. Okay. You know, he doesn't really let me see and stuff. He just puts it, you know, puts it dry and puts it in the closet. Yeah. 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 Stop painting his canvases, that, number one. Mm -hmm. You gotta paint your canvas. If he doesn't want to work on a wet canvas, let it dry and then paint your stuff on top. But you gotta cover your canvas. Oh, okay. You gotta cover your canvas. Um, I agree with you on that one. That's yeah. number one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So number two, he needs to be sealing his paintings with something. Queens. Okay. Um, in fact, I'll show you something that I use for my paintings. Then I have pins. I have artwork that I sell. Oh, cool. Uh, I was wondering if I can, on the side, show you potentially T-shirts. Would that be allowed to be sold with? Um, it depends. It depends on the quality. Yeah, they could oh, be. Oh, I have good quality yeah. stuff. Yeah, they could be. I'd have to see the stuff, but yeah, I mean, that's a potential for sure. Because I'm just looking for someone to source my prints. Yeah. And, oh. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. First, you got to paint your canvas. You've got, even if you don't, if you don't like working on a wet canvas, let it dry. But you need to cover your canvas. Because... The scuff marks and things, mm -hmm. that's not going to come out. That's on the canvas. So the next painting that you do, cover your canvas with whatever color you want as your background. If you just want black, paint black. But yeah. cover your Even canvas. spray paint it black if you this want. This is, yeah. excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. I, I'm a folk artist. I know. She got, this, she's, she's letting you know how to protect. This, that it's making it archivalable. Yeah. Because it doesn't listen, last. Listen to me. Listen to me. Like she was saying, afterwards you have to seal it. Like this, yeah, I was this, her this. This is what I use for a quick fix for mine. To seal, to seal it so that it, that it lasts for a long, long time. For the ones that I don't put in resin or put full resin on, I use something to quick fix seal it. That protects your paint. It protects your canvas. Um, it keeps your art and colors that fresh. Is a very good. Keeps the sun from damaging it. Um, um, if you want to be, it, it, folk art doesn't mean that yeah. there's no, we're just craftsmanship. Yeah. Protection yeah. plan. Yeah. Craftsmanship. Or, yeah. You've got, and, and people suggestions. that, I buy a lot of art. All that I, do. I buy a lot of art, and I'm telling you, that's all that I do. Cover your canvas. I'm, if you want to cover it in black, let it dry, then paint on it. But, and what I would suggest, since you do but you can still do that. Take a day, take your canvases, take oh, 10 canvases out there, spray the paint them all at once, let them dry. Then you, when you start creating, you've got a solid base to work on. And you've got something that the paint is going to seal to. Like, see you've got something it's, that is it's, clean. You want clean. Yeah. Even folk art is clean. See, this is scratched, right? She's wanting you to be able to protect it to, to so it don't have the stuff marks. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I like this one, this, this diptych together. It Can you tell me a little bit about this one? That's um, Hanu Kali and then Shiva Shakti. I really like that one. That's very striking. I know last time when you came in we were talking about stuff, I did mention something about painting the background, but I think the thing that we came um, to together... Yes, it's still wrong. And okay. I think what we came to together Any nomads. Was, 
okay. was doing uh, prints of some of these just to like make them archivalable. And that, cause I know you, you mentioned something before about how you weren't comfortable parting with some of these oh, and that no. would be a solution. I'm comfortable everyone. parting now with are. all of them now. And this is, I guess I don't know, it's real life. <laughs> I don't know. So that's the two. And you're using glow in the dark paints, right? Or is it just uh, fluorescent paints? Uh, no, I, acrylic. I think they're acrylic. Well, they're acrylic, but like, the, like that's fluorescent as heck. I love it. Yeah. I, I wonder if they glow. the style <laughs> in the water. Oh, that would be so cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh. See, I like this image a lot, and I think it'd be much stronger if you just cleaned up the background. Because mm -hmm. actually, really, this is really cool. There's a lot of really cool potential in here. Oh, yeah. So you want me to take all these back? Not all of them, uh, no. Okay. They're giving you suggestions, yeah, like, suggestions to but help protect your stuff and, and to just make you better. Anymore. Okay, you want to show us some new things? Yeah. Wow. This is. I think some of that's kind of like oh. spray paint or something. Mm -hmm. That's what it kind of looks like. See how you see how you painted the background like? Yeah. That's what they're saying. And, and, and then seal it. it. Yeah. Okay, so spray paint? Yeah. Sweet. But you guys don't sell spray paint. Yeah. Not necessarily. Um, but I mean, we're open to stuff. Like, I mean, I like mixed media. I think if you took that up a notch, like I said, like pairing it with some, some of these awesome guys on top, then that would elevate it so much. Just something to think about. Yeah. But I'm not going to tell you how to make your art because that is your process that is personal to you. Um, but I'm just, as like an art historian, I'm just helping you out. I did love him when you brought him in last time. Or her. Them. No. Them. Yeah. They are lovely. Unlock the chest. Yeah. Oh, you wrote on the back? Um, oh, wow. Unlock the chest. See, Blake, how you got these markings? They've been through a lot since well, I made them. And hey, so with my paintings, and I can show you on some of mine too, when you can tell that I've like moved them around. But when you put a layer of sealant on it, you can just wipe the dust off and it doesn't scoff Stop. it up. Okay. And that's such an easy fix. Like, and with some stuff, you can even use hairspray. Like, <laughs> like there's, it doesn't have to be an expensive um, endeavor. Uh, this one is King Nebuchadnezzar. My dad. Hmm. Blake said. What's this one like? Oh, have you ever heard of Bloody Mary? Yes. This is my daughter, except she has scary her. She's scary. Then Bloody Mary, she doesn't need to be called and summoned. Hmm. Oh, she's just there. She's, or she's just here. There. She's here. <laughs> What's this one like? <laughs> she's talking 2016 about through twenty twenty. Yeah. My son served uh, 2000, I'm, 2010. I'm, well, it comes to be that I'm actually Shiva. You hear that, Nomads? Okay, but. I'm not a, this is for my, our YouTube channel. Oh. Yeah, I'll get you guys affidavits if you'd like. I'm good. <laughs> do you guys consent? Well, we need to. You can do whatever with the. Uh... This video. You're okay. We're video. filming your art. I'm not worried. Yeah. About okay. It. Explain that one to her. All right. That's where you work now. The one in your hand. This one's Cynthia. Cynthia. I like Cynthia's eyes. Or lack thereof. 
Blake, what is this one? This one is Mondia, the planet Mondia. Hmm. Put it over there. And this one? This one's our coral. I was gonna say it looks like coral. Yes. That's cool. This one's one of Blake's dash. Is that texture or is it just like paint? It's, it looks like it's just paint. Oh. I'm like that reads like it's popping out at you. Is that, yeah. is that IRO or of course? I don't remember which is which. It's the eye of bro. Gave me lemon vibes. Uh, Egypt. Hello. And Americana's Egypt. Americana's Egypt. Yeah. I was painting him because he came over here to Americana Egypt mm -hmm. first. Blake, what's about this one? Put it, put it over there. Explain that one. I think this one goes this way. What is that one, Blake? No one truly knows what this is. Hmm. Okay. That's fair. Should have most more what do you see when you see this? see a face. It's hard not to see a face. Do you know whose face it is? I do not know whose face it is. Uh, Why? Mysterious, you know? It is mysterious. Mm -hmm. Mysterious face. Yeah. That's the name of it. I, oh. <laughs> I was thinking it was a face and all this stuff above it was probably like their thoughts or something. What about this one, Blake? Put that one down. Are you mom? Yeah. All right. Just redirecting. Tell your crowd. Yeah. This one is. I love that piece. Fusion spider goddess. I really like when you brought that in. Like I said last time, I like a lot of these drawings. I just think it's the medium that they're on. It's like, because we talked about making prints of certain things. Well, because some of these are really cool. Part of my technique is taking old to new, mm -hmm. you know, because I feel like the rags to riches story spiritually. I like that. Mm -hmm. you know? I like that. I like that one. Look at the canvas. It's all covered. It's beautiful. Yeah, he did cover this one, but we need to seal it. Tell them about that one, like. Oh, Benlin, me, Ego, women dancing, and they're dancing to Shango. And as you can see, because I'm a mushroom god, is that he's uh, got mushroom psilocybin in the top. Oh, so they're having a good time over there. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why they're dancing. <laughs> Blake I dance like that too. Yeah. <laughs> what about this one, Blake? Voodoo. Voodoo? Okay. Voodoo, yeah. yeah. That's what this is. And he's Thor in Norse paganism. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. I think this yeah. one goes with the other coral mm -hmm. one because that's what that looks no, like. No, this one's neurodynamic. Oh, okay. Nobody knows whose brain this is. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the question. Yes. What about this one, Blake? Look at that. 
a lot of this imagery is really cool. I, I painted wanted... this one with Bob Ross, and I painted yeah. this one with Bob Ross. These are necro paintings. Do you know oh, like channeling them? Yeah. Or like through you? Yeah. What you're saying? Or... Actually sitting down with him, mm -hmm. I, I made contact with Bob Ross from the other side with my spiritual abilities and painted these paintings with him. I don't know who Bob Ross is. He's a famous painter. He had a oh. series on TV where he would teach you how to paint. Oh, okay. What about this one, Blake? See, I love this See, one. I love favorite her. One. Irene. What about this one, Blake? Angelus Molier, this is me as an angel. Okay. What about this one? And then is this your daughter? That's my daughter. Okay, I remember you saying that. I remember really loving She cries this tears of joy, and these are her weapons. Okay or tools. So if you were to put in works that are about that size, what kind of price would you think to put on it? Because so, so think that we, you know, we have all these different sizes and so starting at like very small, a little bigger, this would be one piece together. This would be a set. Mm -hmm. Which actually, Blake, I would pair this and this with these, with those, yeah, and and this combination right here, mm -hmm. you know, I would say this would be thirty dollars because it's you know your time, the the how much the canvases are, the paint, you know, you, you and then they take a percentage, you know. Well, I always, you know, I always, what we tell our artists is we hope that we just get back what we put into it. Mm -hmm. And so, like, so much of my craft, like, whatever money I make just goes directly right back into art supplies, you know? Kind of like what, I mean, he's... I'm but, sure you're probably doing that already. <laughs> it's like, just all... I would say, Blake, for something like this, you know, together, $20. Yeah. You know, what would you say? I say we could put thirty on it, so you for sure would get the twenty, because we do take a thirty percent commission if anything sells through here. So I want to make sure you get what you think you're getting. You know, you you would get twenty. I would get nine of that. You would get twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Like. Good. With her. Yeah, so I mean, just think of it that way, and we can do the math together too. I, I really like still, her. I yeah. have pictures of all of them. I mm -hmm. probably have them. I was going to copyright them. And, and I can still do that, right? Cover that. No. You were going to copyright your images? That's yeah. not necessary. Really? No. Because nobody can really recreate what is in your that mind. That just sounds like, like a lot of money. Okay. But I have not pursued that route, so I don't know what I'm talking about. One is hard to copyright art. It's very expensive um, because every idea that's out there, somebody else has had it. Um, mm -hmm. You have to get an attorney to help you. It's not something that you can easily traverse yourself. Um, so your work is unique. Now, when you get to doing Mm -hmm. so I like I follow. Here's all your kings and queens and princesses. So like putting them together, keeping them together. 
love your use of colors. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the dances, these that two, one, yeah. these two, those I like. two. But this one, you, you've got to do something about that canvas. Like you can go back behind it, Blake, and paint the. It canvas. makes me want to just get my white paint out right now and just. Yeah. I touch it. Yeah, and then you totally good. You've done you've done all this. You can do and that. I can, and I can tell you, folk art or not, nobody's going to spend two hundred dollars for something for that has scratches and hand. Because people who collect art are very particular. It's about a manifestation. She gets that, but what she's saying. I understand what you're saying, but you have to, as an artist, you want to be yourself, your genuine self, but. You also, if you want to make it a business, then there's a certain conformity that you have to follow. Yeah. And a part of that... Somebody's trying to cause this. <laughs> when people are, are purchasing art, like I said, I buy a lot of art. I go to a lot of galleries. Excuse when me you're real purchasing, quick. you're looking for pristine work. Whatever, whatever the genre, whatever the type, you're looking for it to be pristine. You'll never sell, you'll never get a price for that. And then a pile of- You've got to cover right the canvas, <laughs> you've got to. Okay. That's just business. And that's where you, you have to, there's give and take. And that's where you have to give a little bit. I understand what you're doing, I understand what you're saying, I like that one too. Um, but you've got to, there's a conformity issue in art when you're trying to sell it. And we appreciate all this feedback. So and that we know. That's why this is important. My son is an artist. We're going to help um, you get better, Blake. And that's what we've doing. had so many discussions <laughs> from the time he was three years old about art and what sells and what doesn't and, and why certain things. We spent so much time in galleries. Um, there's, a, there's a certain amount. When you decide that you want to sell your work, there is a certain conformity that has to happen and that means your work is clean looking even folk art even folk art the canvases are clean look at this guy's work this is folk art this is folk art completely covered completely covered can we call it dugala quality you can call it anything you want but the bottom line is his work sells why does it sell? Because regardless of the style, you can see how nice the canvas looks. And you'll see it artist after artist after artist. It's, it's an understanding of what sells. Um, and it's hard. It's hard to get out there as an artist. It's hard to get started. Um, it's hard to build a following. Um, you wind up putting your stuff in places and you're just like, why is my stuff in here with this crap? But so you gotta start somewhere, you know? Um, you're fortunate to actually have a gallery here. I mean, yeah. for this area, there just isn't artists I know. dead. Uh, it's really, really I told really myself hard. when I live here, I wanna live in a place with a gallery. And this is, this is a full working gallery. Uh, from the teaching classes to the artists. We have open houses where the artists come and demonstrate how they do their work. Um, it, it, I love being a part of this. And, uh, and I've been here since they opened. I've been here since the beginning. Now I'll show you a couple of my paintings. And I'm not a painter, I'm a glass artist. But I goof around with painting. I've dabbled with glass. That's one of my pieces and it's covered in resin. I like working on wood. I think it gives it a nicer look than canvas sometimes. And it's easier to deal with than canvas. It doesn't sag. Um, and when you're working with resin, sometimes it'll sag your canvas. But this is one of my galaxy pores. Do you the have edges. a astral name? No, I don't. Um, and I'm actually just starting to look into my native name um, for my tribe. And uh, oh, my wife would be a good person to give you a good reading from the ancestors. Native? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. 
I don't know too many natives here in this area. This is. I'm native. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Do you know what tribe? Yeah. What tribe are you from? Hindu across the pond. Pangea. See, everything used to be Pangea, so we're all brothers and sisters. Awesome. Hinduism has been around since the beginning. So this is ancient Americana's Egypt, a part of Pangea. See, a long time ago, they tried to break the planets apart, the continents apart, and freeze over everything. Yeah. This is a war on consciousness. But we overcame that. Very true. Yeah. Have you noticed all the new species here lately coming out on the news feed? Oh, yeah. That's because we led a caravan to the ice wall. Well, there, there's so much we don't know. There's so much history. Buried, and there's so and much, so much I know. history lied about. So, you know, it's, we'll find out. Shiva. Kali, and who are you again? I'm Diane. Diane. I am. This is some of my work. All right, let's look at her work right here. Oh, you have heard of Shiva, haven't you? Yes, I have. Those are Shiva crosses. I see. I recognize There's a you. Lot to learn here. There's yeah. A lot to learn here. This is one of my favorite pieces. And it's all glass. These are made of all glass. Mushrooms. They're shells. You think mushrooms. They're shells. Like this one. I was trying to call attention or awareness that they were shells. You didn't let me finish. This is my I also need jewelry. My wife makes jewelry too. She made this necklace. Very cool. We did each other's beads. That's very cool. Can I, I don't want to touch it. Here. No, no ma'am. I don't let anybody touch okay, my That's why necklace. I pulled my hand back because I, I know you. how people can be. See, nomads, you don't just touch things. You would ask before you, you touch. Permission. Ask permission. Uh, yeah, I think you've got some serious potential. Um, but just remember... The most important thing is everybody starts from the beginning. Everybody. Nobody jumps out um, as an artist and boom, it's just success overnight. That's hard. That's a rare, rare thing. Most of us, it takes years to build a following, get into galleries. Um, I do art shows too, to get into the big art shows. Um, it's My hard. wife and I are doing ventriloquism. My wife and I are doing ventriloquism, aren't we, babe? I prefer the black. Now, how long have you been married? One year. Congratulations. In this capacity. One year is married? Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. But I've been married. Than I've been married over 40 years. It'll be 40. It'll be 41 in March. Yeah. All right, yeah, now long. back over here. Mom, can you take the camera, please? If you don't mind that I seal them for you, I can take a couple of them right now. Yeah. If, sure. you, if you don't mind, if you give me permission, I have like a varnish I can put on it, just so they're safe. Okay. I'm not gonna do it right the second, but if you leave them with me, I will take very good care of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, she, was, an she was saying that she really likes the black mm -hmm. um, and like some of these. I just think you should pop more color into your background. Like this. Well, the next collection is going to be better. 
Hold on, boy. Isn't it? I mean, this is my first collection. Like this, and it's awesome. Like okay, painting like that. This fuchsia. Yeah. The background fuchsia. Just pop in some sort of color behind it, behind the color. The that to draw your eyes more. What I do sometimes is I, I have a color wheel. Um, and I like just looking at it where I'm like, okay, what complements each other or what counteract, you know, like you just find what colors kind of make sense together. And then you're like, oh, the yellow is what me, this is it. It's yellow. You know, mm -hmm. it's, you will figure that out as you go. But I, this is a pile of stuff that I definitely want right now. Um, tell me about him or her or them. That's uh, Hanuman. It's Hanuman. Isn't that the name that you use? Didn't you say that at some point? Some time ago. Okay. Because that's another. It's pretty cool. Mike. I love this. So, what would? You, let's see. Let me get. In in that capacity. You know. Mm -hmm. She understands the the dimensions. Yeah. And, the dimensions. Yeah, and she understands the capacity. All of the nuances. Yes. I may not understand all of your nuances, but when it comes to art, I do my best. Um, but, do, do, do. Okay. So, do you have titles for these? Yes. Okay, what, what's your title for this one? Mm -hmm. Looks like Hanuman is uh, vacationing. That's what I see. Hanuman's peace. Okay. You're going to have to tell her how to spell Hanuman so the spelling is correct. Is that it? Hanuman? Yeah. Sorry if this video isn't good quality. I'm short and my arms oh, no. are tired. The quality is getting better each go round. So how, yeah. how would you like, price that one? I'd say thirteen bucks. Thirteen? Okay. Now you want thirteen, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to say, here's the price you want, and then I'll put the commission in. Okay. That's how much I'm earning right there. That's what you want out of yes. it. So I'll add the commission on top of that. Okay. So you will get the 13. I'll okay. make sure you get the 13. All right. Okay. Like, what, what would you, with this, because I think this and this, because of the colors and everything, should be together. Well, so I think they could be separate. separate. I think like this is definitely a diptych. So this is one piece right here. Mm -hmm. That's one piece. Who is this again? Like this is Dakota. Dakota. My machine elf daughter. Dakota. Hanuman's machine elf daughter. You want to? <laughs> you want to call it that? Yeah. Is it machine elf? Machine elf. Yeah. Hey, I picked those because I like them, so you don't need to justify <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm supportive. Right. And then, what would what you... Because I think we said, like, 30 for the two of them. Yeah. Would you want that to change? Have you ever heard of Sister Santa? Of what? Have you ever heard of Santa Muerte? Santa Muerte? Yeah. Yeah. You like her, don't you? I mean, I know of Santa Muerte. Like Has the she practice. ever tried to make contact with you? Blank. I'm not very divine. Oh. So you said you want 30 for this? Is that Santa Muerte? 
No. Okay, I'm who is this? I'm her soon. Oh, cool. Next collection, keep your eyes peeled. I'm excited. What are we gonna call this one? Hanukali Shiva Shakti. Call. What? <laughs> Repeat that, please. Hanuman. I mean, Hanu. Hanukali. Hanukali. Yeah. Hanukali. Shiva Shakti. Shakti? Yeah. Oh, that's I really like the art gallery though. Alright. Yes. That's really nice in here. Honey Kali Shiva Shanti. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that one's sweet. And then, ooh. So now that I'm keeping and putting a seal on them. What about that one? This one's. Soul Drive. Soul Drive. This is the Syrian soul drives, pillars. The pillar, they're the pillars? Pillars? Yeah. Okay. How much would you like to put on that one? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You want me to tell you what I would th do it for? How much? $10. Ten dollars if I can. Do that. And then this big boy. Like what about that one? Well. How much would you price that? One? Well, you remember the names. Of she, yeah, yeah, I have, she will. I, I have it all written down, and I have a weird memory, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. After my video, I'm gonna take pictures on the floor. Okay. Let's focus all. on that. But How so, what about this one? How much would you price that, like? This one's name is Obenrin. How? Obenrin. O b i n r i n space capital N i. Space, capital I, J, O with the accent mark on top. Mm -hmm. Is that? Yeah. Cool. And then what are we thinking price wise? And then two the parentheses. Yeah. Women in dance. Women in dance? Yeah. How much would you price that like? No, no, how much would you price that? Yeah. She's, she's asking. Because right now, the diptych, the two of them, is at 30, so that's your most, your highest one. So how high do you want to go on this one? I'd say 35. Between 25 and 35. What do you think? I think we could do 35. 45 in that range. Okay. Because it is big. 25? I said 35 no, no, no. to 40. 35 to 40? Yeah. Or 45? I like 44. You like 44? <laughs> I'm good with that. Okay. And just to start, we're going to start with these because I don't want to have everyone's work in the back. Um, mm -hmm. But this is a great start. This is more than I've taken from a lot of people when they bring, come, bring stuff in. So For the first time. Yeah. yeah. Like, now we're signing a contract, and now you're part of us. Yeah. Welcome. Good. <laughs> and so you can, like, keep coming back, keep updating us on your practice and what you're doing. And, each and if you have one that you're stuck on, they can give you suggestions. Mm -hmm. Of pacing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like how to pr like how they're resource. like how they're teaching you to see like how you got fingerprints right there, Blake. You know, you want to get some white paint and or just I would just paint the background, make it more pop. 
like a fire red orange or something. Yeah, you have like your use of color is incredible. Right. So I mean, I want to see you play with it even more. And whose hand is this? My hand, which is the hand that says, may we please take a break? And you probably have some more writing to do on You're the fine. This contract. Is you gotta do the contract. All right, I'm All gonna step outside. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, you can go ahead and step outside. Well, while you you're doing that, why don't you take this and we're leaving this. Yeah, I'm gonna put labels on everything. Okay. So, so we're taking this. these back. Yeah. yeah, for right now, take we're gonna start with that. Take that one yeah. stays. Yeah, that one stays. Take those back to the car here. It's mm -hmm. not a lot. So, in your, um, in your, um, Well, I'll be back in a moment. Okay. You see, she wrote you a note on the back. Clean up the background and bring it back to her. Because I really like her. Okay. Like so, a pale pink behind that. Yeah, you know, like, like, I mean, daughter, I don't Daughter, like daughter Arjana. Really like <laughs> daughter Arjana they is... Sell? Um, and the tubes, because that's what he's been on. They do. Um, we have some that we use for like the kids' classes and stuff. So I'm not sure on its like quality. Uh -huh. But sometimes we can paint like on top of stuff because it might not be as rich color wise. Mm -hmm. yeah, but oh my gosh, my roommate would lose her gosh darn mind if you're painting with glow in the darks right now. So, um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. Here. I'm not going to smoke in here. Okay, here's the keys. In this capacity. All right. And carry this stuff to the other dimension, which is the car. Yeah, Lulu. Transformer dimension. Shout out to Transformer dimension. Like, like I really think you should do the background of this like a bright... Like a and that we shall. Yeah. A bright background color. varnish. Like a... And then we'll get We're going to redo the, this... One. Well, you don't need to touch her. She's Just, perfect. I will hang her in here. Do you need the background? Well, I'm speaking like a Dugala right now. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Well, you do you do whatever you gotta do, but that that's just my um what I gotta say about displaying stuff in here because I'm like there's so much like awesome, rich, cool stuff that just pushed a little more could be even better. Mm -hmm. So like carry this to the car. Focus. We'll right. pause your video. No, Mom, I'm the one shooting this. Okay, well, you said you needed a break. I know, I'm taking a break. Yes, I'm coming back. I'm just taking a break, guys. It's just Shiva. This is exciting, so damn. Who knew I would have dealt with so many attacks? Of course, this is back in the day. And yes, I dance around the stoplights even now. That's just progress, baby. Progress. And no, if you hear my wife speaking right now, yes, exactly.
Wait till our Trishulas get here and our ventriloquist children get here. I'm thinking about so many things in my mind right now, all coming and floating to me here in this now, strengthening me, embodying me to take what I need to do and be successful. Holly the second is now Kali the first. Now isn't that lovely, Dad? I know. Billy, oh Billy. Yes, babe. Oh, this is a ragtag smoke session right now. No. This is a smoke session on the go. Nomads, yes, we are in a portal right now. You are in my vortices. Sister Santa Muerte. It's daughter Santa Muerte now. And her and Marco and Morocco are coming to the next collection. You guys want to know the name of this collection, don't you? I know nomads. The collection's name is Year 24 of the 20. All right, nomads, let's go back inside, get the stuff. Get back to the spot, do what we need to do. And buy these paintings, you hear? They like gallery and I'm the sun god of this gallery. Shiva and Kali are watching and actively participating. 